today we are making mashed potatoes. Let's do it. What's up? Welcome to Transcend the Table. My name is Pete Beck and I am happy to welcome you to my kitchen today as we continue with our holiday side series. Now I haven't met too many mashed potatoes that I haven't liked, but this recipe from Gordon Ramsay takes you to a new level. This recipe unlocks the penthouse of potatoes. On top of that, they are loaded with flavor without a lethal amount of butter and cream. Let's check out what you're gonna need to make these mashed potatoes. In addition to those ingredients, there is a piece of equipment that I wanna highlight because you may not already have this at home, and that is a ricer. This is a key piece of equipment for this recipe because unlike those potatoes where you're pounding them with the masher, which is making them more dense, this allows for a lighter, fluffier product, and it also makes the grain much finer in your mashed potatoes. But this piece of equipment can be used for so much more than this recipe, so it's a great add to your kitchen arsenal. Now let's go over this recipe at a high level so we have an understanding of what we're doing every step of the way. We're gonna start off by infusing some cream. Yes, this is a technique that I love and I use it anywhere that I can. Anything that calls for cream, you can take to the next level by infusing it. And next, where we're gonna focus the most of our time is actually in cooking the potatoes because that is where we achieve that light, fluffy mash that we're looking for. Once that's taken care of, we put it all together and we're left with beautiful, fluffy mashed potatoes. So let's dive right in. In a small sauce pot, add your cream, add a handful of fresh thyme, crush some garlic, and then season it well with salt and pepper. I mean well, don't be cutting back on the sodium, it's the holidays. Over the stove on medium high heat, we're bringing this to a rapid boil and then we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. Do not step away from the stove, the cream does boil over and you'll have a big old mess. We're gonna let this simmer away for about eight minutes or so until it reduces by a third. It should just gently simmer like that. Once it's almost done, give it a taste and go ahead and correct the seasoning. It's going to need more salt. I re-emphasize, now is not the time to worry about your sodium intake. Take it off the heat and we're gonna run it through a fine mesh sieve to strain it. Make sure you pull out the garlic and push it through the sieve. Look at that thick, delicious flavor right there. That is huge. Do not forget about it. And there you have it, a cup of infused cream. All right, let's roll through this prep. We gotta peel our potatoes. Always clean your workstation in between. We're gonna cut those potatoes on an angle into rounds. I would say those are about a half inch, three quarters of an inch thick. Everything we do when we cut these potatoes is important because we want to keep the size as consistent as possible. This will ensure that they cook evenly and avoid a watery mash because that's what happens when you get those little bits in there and they overcook and that introduces water. You wanna avoid that. Once you got a nice bowl of diced potatoes, you can move on to the green onions and give those a little chop, chop, chop your credit card in half. And then we're ready to cook our potatoes. Add the potatoes to a pot and fill with cold water. Everything we're doing here is to try and make sure that we cook these potatoes properly, avoid them turning watery and keeping them nice and seasoned. So we're gonna bring those to a boil, turn it down immediately to a simmer and let those go until they're cooked. You should be able to smash one of them with the back of a spoon. We're gonna go ahead and strain those and actually return them to the pot, but we're gonna steam them. This will ensure we remove as much moisture as possible so we can get that light, fluffy mash. Give one of them a taste. They should be salty, they should be done, and go get it. Add your potatoes to the ricer lock it and load it and we're going to push those potatoes through into a bowl just have some fun with this this is so satisfying especially when you get that knife and you cut down oof that is some good shit continue that process until all of your potatoes have gone through the ricer at which point it is time to flavor them you're going to take about a third of your infused cream at a time we're going to fold that in incorporating that throughout you're going to want to do this while the potatoes are hot so don't be fucking around 
add in another third of that cream, fold it until it's well incorporated. And when you come to that last third, add a couple tablespoons of butter, add that last bit of infused cream, and then whip vigorously until your arm feels like it's about to fall off, and then keep whipping. The potatoes should easily slide off of the edge of the spatula, at which point you can add your green onions, fold those in, and it's ready to be plated. All right, this mash is done. We're gonna plate it right away, top it off with a little bit of fresh chives, and we're good to go. Unreal. So there you have it, the penthouse of potatoes. Make this mash for your holiday dinner. It will be a star. And when you do, take a picture and tag us on Instagram at Transcend the Table. We would love to see what your table looks like this Thanksgiving. Now, if you don't mind, I'm thankful for my dirty ass dishes and I'm gonna go take care of that. Thank you for joining. We'll catch you next time.